Okay, so what we see here basically is an example of a, um, a network um, that is actually for the Chicago area. So it's a market for Chicago, uh, where we have a list of uh, sites and sectors that are uh, what we call multi-RAT, which means uh, multiple radio, modeling multiple uh, radio access technologies. We have GSM sectors as well as UMTS and LTE, so the 2G, 3G and 3G sectors, with uh, some Wi-Fi hotspots as well, where we can model the offloading uh, basically of traffic if the macro cells are actually, uh, uh, if, if there is lack of capacity on the macro cells. So what we see here basically is a um, uh, initial coverage, for example, that we have for the um, what we call the RSRP, which is one of the KPIs in LTE, uh, showing the coverage here. And with that, uh, we can basically, one way we can do with this coverage is basically use a tool, uh, like what you see here, the point analysis tool, which is a uh, real-time calculation tool that allows us basically to use a probe receiver to, uh, and, and find out basically what the reception would be from the best serving cell as well as other cells that come at that location. So you can study the network this way in real time uh, or you can actually study interference as well. So it gives you the flexibility to look at uh, what is the interference that are coming in on a particular location in real time when you move this probe receiver on the network. Uh, similarly, you can actually um, study the capacity of a network uh, using a Monte Carlo, uh, state-of-the-art Monte Carlo engine, uh, which is also a multi-technology uh, um, uh, algorithm that allows basically uh, 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 allow operators to actually uh, study the uh, uh, offload of users on multiple uh, technologies as well. So that's something uh, that is modeled here. So to show an example, uh, here you can see there are a few samples of drop of users that you can see here that tells us basically if we have, if those users are having uh, service or not uh, according to their location. So that's something that can be done uh, in the tool as well. And then s other things we can do is the capability uh, to actually import uh, drive test data and CW data uh, to actually show uh, or to validate the optimization of the network as well. So that's something that can be done within the tool itself. Uh, similarly, uh, what can be done also in terms of analysis is the capability here uh, to export, for example, uh, coverages or predictions uh, on multi-floors uh, for operators to also have a visual, uh, basically, uh, uh, analysis or visual uh, idea of what the coverage look like on multiple floors in different buildings. So here we have uh, the uh, layer of buildings in downtown Chicago by the Millennium Park. And here on this uh, Google Earth export, we export the coverage to show uh, if there is coverage on multiple floors inside the buildings as well. So that's something that, that is, we can do within the tool itself.